when I first got here, I have all this like preconceived notions, and now, and now 10 years on, it's like, okay, I get it. But for yeah. you, what has your kind of experience been so far? Yeah, it's a little like that. Like before you come, it's very mysterious, and there's this whole like allure of what Khan is. And, and so it's really fun to be here and to be able to see for myself what it's like. And it's quite chaotic, but it's, it's a big honor to have a film here, so it's really fun. There's this awesome discourse of, of cinema, you know, and so, mm -hmm. so to be able to come here and be part of that yeah. kind of discussion, mm -hmm. I don't know, as an actor, what, what is this kind of, is it a sense of pride yeah. then? And, yeah, and it is. It's really nice because there's such an appreciation of good cinema here and, and like really, I don't know, it, it is really like wonderful to be around people that are sort of of a similar awareness of, of cinema and, and yeah and of, of good quality cinema as well. I would assume that working on a film like this, because everybody seemed to be quite young in terms of mm. the general, and so, and everybody seemed so passionate about this project, and so it must have been a really nice, yeah. I don't know, what was the kind of daily experience like to kind of be a part it of it? It was, it was really a calm set. Gus runs a really calm set, and it's very collaborative, and he really involved us, like me and Henry and the rest of the cast, in the whole process from the very beginning. Um, and and so it's it really feels like we're kind of making a student film. It has a very youthful feel, and, and and then the script and the subject matter was also kind of emulated. What is it about Gus that you feel that he's able to tap into this kind of psyche? Because he seems, he's so young, his soul is so young. And yeah. so to be able to be around that, how, how is it like? And did you ever talk about, I don't know, how? Why, yeah, well, how? <laughs> I mean, I like how Gus gives adolescents a lot of credit for their complexity and, and the kind of emotional turbulence that they're experiencing. His films never undermine like the teenage experience, which I think is really great because so many teen films I felt like were so difficult to identify with. And I mean, they're very attractive because they're kind of like, I think not a common experience, like a lot of teen films, but, but there's something about Gus's movies that are really sort of have a sensitivity to that time in people's lives. I love the fact that there's this, silent acting like you kind of go through the whole script and yeah. does that is that the first time you've ever experienced something like that and, and how has that kind of helped you with the progression of how you kind of yeah. be in films now do you mean like the silent take yeah or? the silent takes yeah stuff. yeah we do a silent take for every setup um and that was great like often we do a silent take and you'd be like oh i get it now like it clicks um just because there's something about when you take out the words and, and the script you kind of have a different understanding of it so that was uh, that's the cool that's was really cool. did that help with you maybe uh, working better with your co-actor then to kind of be able to yeah do well these you know we always did it last so we've done all the dialogue we've done that many times a few takes of it and then you get to the silent take and you're in such a rhythm by that stage but you're also kind of like you relax and you throw it away a bit so it kind of gets all these nice moments. I've been super fascinated with you in the sense because I saw in treatment and mm -hmm. and I really wouldn't watch any of the other days like it was your day that I kind of would ball my face off anyway so so to be able to that that kind of set you on this interesting path and now you've had this and it's been a short period of time so has that been a little bit overwhelming for you and 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 how do you kind of stay true to being making the films that interest you and yet still maybe juggle a bit of commercial because obviously as an actor you still, you, yeah. you still need to get the work and stuff. Well I feel really lucky like it, in treatment was such an excellent um, like exp learning experience for me and it was such a it was one of the most fulfilling experiences as an actor to have um, and then to be able to yeah, I mean, I, you want to continue work on that kind of level in terms of um, it's really challenging, not just for me, but also for the audience. And, and so, um, yeah, I, I kind of hope to continue to be able to do that. Last question then. There seems to be this, there must be something in the water because there's, there's a group of actresses around the same age as you who are doing amazeballs work. I mean, just like it's insane what kind of stuff is coming out. And so do you... I don't know, is there, like, why do you think there is all of a sudden this opportunity mm -hmm. for this kind of group of people like you? And yeah. have you talked to these other actors and, and kind of yeah. looked around like, why, how is this happening? Yeah, it's cool. It's really cool because, um, I don't know, I think there's a, like a sort of a shift that's happening in terms of uh, 
you know, I don't know. I don't know what, what it is, but there is like a, there's good material out there and people are willing to, to do it. And, and it's the, it's kind of the cool way to do things in, in the sense that, um, you know, it's, it's not very like cool to, to, um, there's no robots in anything you do, which is the thing is so yeah, awesome. Yeah, no, it's, I think, and I think that this kind of work is more fulfilling and, and, and rewarding. Uh -huh.